Hi preschoolers, Miss Tanya here. I hope you guys are doing well today. I have another book for you. Traveling Seeds by Rebecca Belowski. I was out and I was out and looking for cool things to do and see. I saw a greenish speckled pear from a tree. The pear fell down to the ground. An animal was walking around. She saw that tree laid at her feet and decided it was, it was just the time to have something to eat. The cow went for a wander, swallowing the pear. The fruit went through her tummy. Cows have four parts to theirs. One, two, three, four. In poop, the pear came out, and only the seeds remained. <laughs> it rained. And the seed began to sprout. It's called germination when seeds begin to grow. It needs warmth and water. Some, it, something's, it's something that is quite slow. And did you know the leaves grow up to see the sun and the roots grow down below? The little plants, a seedling, it has everything it needs. It grows into a giant tree from just a little seed. Blossoms come in springtime. Now the tree's a real beauty, but who can guess those little flowers would turn into something that's fruity? A pear grows from the flower. It grows till it gets fat, ripe, and yummy on the tree. Can you imagine that? I can, I love pears. Who will eat this pear today? Will the seeds go for a trip? Will they go near? Will they go far? Where will they end up? Lots of animals like eating fruit, not just two or three. Who will take a bite today? It could even be me. The end. How seeds travel. A fruit can travel when it's eaten by an animal or person. How can other seeds travel? This dandelion can travel by the wind, like when you blow on it, or by water, if it lands on the water and kind of floats away or gets whisked away in the water. Seeds can also stick to the bottoms of your shoes and boots, and you can take them with you, walking with you. I hope you enjoyed. You guys take care. We'll talk to you. We'll see you next time. All right.